Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I'm in Montrose, Colorado for about another day or two. If you want to find anything about me, go to MySpace or to Facebook or Twitter where I have accounts. This here is about birth control and something that uh, every woman needs to know and needs to teach uh, any male that she's having sex with, hopefully within the bonds of marriage. Uh, and it may reduce your uh, chances of getting uh, pregnant accidentally because you just can't count on regular birth control devices or condoms to uh, save you. What you need to do is get on the internet, look up what a male is not to do when he's to have a sperm count. You know, like eating a banana, drinking coffee, wearing restricted clothing, like pants or underwear, uh, like brief underwear. Uh, and he's supposed to, of course, abstain for a certain number of days. Some, you know, vary. Some, uh, you know, it's three days, some it's five days, some it may be 30 days. I don't know. Uh, exactly which, how many days it, it should be. Usually it's three days though. But nonetheless, that's one of the ways uh, a woman, if she's going to be having uh, sex with a male, can go about to reduce her chances of getting pregnant in case something happens where they have sexual intercourse. And it's, in, in other words, they've taken, they've taken no precautions. Another radical thing that are what I consider to be a little bit radical, something that most people are not uh, familiar with or may not have thought of, that women should be able to request upon any male that they're dating or who may have sexual intercourse with, is that she has a right to know the last time he has climaxed, doesn't matter how. It's kind of like keeping a record. You know, women have to keep a uh, record or account of certain things, and if you're a woman, you know exactly what you're talking about. Well, maybe it's time that the males do the same thing because, you know, every male knows, or at least most male, males know that, you know, uh, before you have sexual intercourse, it's, it's good to climax before that, maybe a day before or hours before or something like that because it at least uh, drops the chances of getting pregnant down at least a little bit. It won't, uh, you still get pregnant no matter what, uh, of course. But maybe that's the time. Maybe it's time that this become part of a relationship and be required. And so I don't think it's out of bounds for a woman before she has sexual intercourse with a guy. Flat out tells him up front that, look, I want to know the last time you climax. And then sometimes I may tell you to climax. And of course, you, you know what I mean by all that. Uh, before we're going to have any type of sexual relationship. And of course, this is prominent in a marriage. Um, that could possibly help out a whole lot right there. Again, you can't count on just uh, a guy climaxing once or twice and then have sexual intercourse without precaution, then that you can't get pregnant. Oh, yes, you can. But it reduces the chances. But your best bet is to have a male in which you're having a sexual relationship with, and hopefully it's your husband, uh, do the things that he's not supposed to do when he's to have a sperm count. And you need to look it up and you need to spend some time, you know, examining uh, examining what it is and then come to your own conclusion as to that, that being. If you're having a sexual relationship with a guy, maybe the brief underwear is better than the boxers. You want him to be restricted. You want him to sit in a hot bathwater. All these things are something you need to look up, look at, and then see if it can work in your relationship with, with whatever male it is that you're dating or married to. That's something to think about. Because making an unwanted baby is not a game, it's not a joke, and it's not, it's not a, it's, it's a, uh, it's about as big as it can get, you know, because you're bringing a new life into this world, and it's better to have it planned than not planned. And so, uh, you need to know these things and understand these things, and you need to become a little bit radical when it comes to birth control. But the males can do more, and you just may have to, if it works for you, Start telling this guy, hey, I want to know every time every time you climax, I want to know the last time you climax, and make it very clear to him that if he lies to you, you will take it just like you would if he committed adultery and then lied to you about the adultery affair, adultery, committed adultery or the affair. You have to make that very clear that this isn't a game. This is very serious because you're putting yourself at risk, even though you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, again, you can't count on all birth control devices or condoms to always work. You need something a little bit more. You need a little bit more assurance. 
And that's something that you have to make it clear to him. Uh, so that's just something I wanted to pass on to you because I find uh, there are so many guys out there that make babies like, you know, like it's no big deal. And it is a big deal. It's a financial thing. It's a, uh, it could be a, destroy a woman's life. Of course, I'm pro-life. Uh, and I'm looking for any and all ways to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies uh, in America or in the world. And to me, birth control is one of those ways to go about it. So that's something you need to think about. And you need to look up and study and see if it will work in your relationship with whatever man it is that you're dating or married to. And hopefully uh, you can help prevent an unwanted child from being born in this world. And hopefully the information that I've had on, that I'm passing on, will help reduce unwanted uh, pregnancies as well. Thanks for your time. My name is Dale Wilhite. You can find me on MySpace, Twitter, or Facebook. And, uh, this is just something you need to study for yourself and look it up on the internet and come to your own conclusions as to whether or not it's right for you and if it will work for you. But remember, do the opposite. Have him do the opposite of what he's not supposed to do. When you're having a sperm count, or in other words, uh, he's not supposed to drink coffee, bananas, I don't know what the banana thing is, uh, restrictive clothing, but well, that's what you want, it, want him to do every day if you're having a sexual relationship with some guy. I'll leave it at that. Thank you for your time.